Hey, Bob WP here, and it's that time of the week. End of the week commentary, bits and pieces, through Woo Bits, a Do the Woo podcast show. Woo! Woo! For today's show, I think I will just touch on a few things that have been going on. First thing is not really so builder focused per se, but automatic is moving quite a few of its employees from Tumblr to other projects. And I've been using Tumblr for a while now, been enjoying it. Unfortunately, it seems as if the revenue that was anticipated didn't happen, which kind of bums me out. I was getting used to diving into more of Tumblr here and there. And I even bought my domain, bobwp.blog, for it. But to sum it up, what's going on with the whole thing is a bit challenging. There were some internal docs that were leaked. That's what they say. And I wonder of the people that shared these and were making a big deal about it would love to have their internal docs released. But that's another matter altogether. Point is, it's a little hard to really explain everything that went on. Best thing to do is if you're really interested in knowing what's going to be going on, what's happening, likely you'll be on Tumblr if you are interested in it. So... Matt did a Q&A Thursday, I think, sometime on Thursday on Tumblr, so you can go in there and check it out. And he also noted that the support mechanism they had put in place hasn't really worked out as they anticipated. Out of their 11.5 million monthly active users, 2,300 subscribers came in and supported the project. Now, myself, I've purchased check marks there. I've added an ad free account. And yes, I did also become a supporter. So I'm hoping things will turn. I'm optimistic. I, social media and all the stuff out there, things are changing so much. And I just hope, you know, something will change there. But anyway, if you're interested in learning more about that's what I'd check out. Now, in the world of WordPress, that 6.4 came out. That's no new news at this point in time. I guess it would be remiss if I at least didn't mention that. So I just did. (laughs) That's about it. You always find plenty of posts about it here and there. And interestingly enough, when a major release always comes out, I spend more of my time watching all the contributors kind of shake their tail feathers some and the proud work that they feel they contributed. And to me, that's more than well-deserved. And I loved seeing that. And I think there was around 600 of them that contributed, which is interesting because it was the same amount of people that was at WordCamp Madrid that attended last week. So if I thought of this entire room contributing to 6.4 or all the people there, pretty amazing. And there was a little bit of a bug or actually a major bug that caused some issues. I was trying to follow it a bit, but it was causing some Stripe issues with Woo stores. And I believe they have that worked out in their uh, release they did shortly after that, a fix. So I'm hoping everything is uh, smoothed out in that sense. Now, speaking of WordCamp Madrid, I was there, as I said, it was an incredible event. The venue was really cool and it was just long, big room that made it easy to visit the vendors, to network, to eat, drink, enjoy the sessions. Everything was right there. And I heard from a lot of the vendors. They were quite happy with the success of it. Now, as a non-Spanish speaker, it was a little bit different feel for me. But it was a good learning experience and putting myself into someone else's shoes that you don't can experience this, especially in the English community or the community that is dominant in English. But the Madrid, Spain community is warm and inviting. I had no problem finding those who would put up with my English. So I had a lot of good conversations and I really, again, enjoyed it. Looking forward to doing some more WordCamps around Europe. So what else is there going on? There's Black Friday. I bet you haven't seen anything about that anywhere. Sarcastically, I say that. That's coming up, I don't know, in a couple of weeks or so. I can't even say, but so on Do the Woo and on BobWP.com, I stopped doing lists of specials. I think I stopped them on Do the Woo probably a couple of years ago, maybe more. 
And I don't know when I did on Bob WP. Anyway, why did I do that? I feel like there's enough of these out there. So why reinvent the wheel? I can always send people to other lists, which is great. I'd rather do that. And there's a ton of them to choose from. One of them that comes to mind is Nathan over at WP Builds. He always does a pretty comprehensive list, and it's easy to filter what you're looking for on it. But I'm not saying that because that's the best or the only one out there. There are other good ones. And really, if you don't have a list that you become attached to and you're undecided, you can head over to the wp.world forward slash BFCM and you will find a list of lists. Now, that's a bit meta, but hey, it works. If you really want to see maybe who you're a fan of that might have a list, you can find it there. And speaking of Black Friday, our new hosts, Adam and Emma, did a show earlier this week around some Black Friday conversation that you may want to catch up on. Oh, what post stuck out to me? A nice little post from Marika over at Post Status about free versus premium plugins. And I think in summation, it's really feeling that more and more builders that are pushing out new plugins want to only release premium plugins. And sure, we all get that. One has to make money. But she also reflected how the lack of quality free plugins may diminish some of the open source feelies we all have. But it's interesting to see what the future will hold there. I can't really predict one way or another and how it affects the ecosystem. I'm sure there'll be some learning curves to be heard about as we dive into it more. And hey, we have a new show coming up in January called Open Talk on Open Source, which will also give you an idea of how other open source communities are doing things. So you can step out the WordPress bubble and learn a bit more about that. But that's coming in January. And speaking of shows, I want to just mention that you should visit our site and see all the new shows on the homepage under the Do the Woo umbrella Good times are coming around the corner with our new site and some other stuff we have going on, but I'm not going to fill woo bits with that because I'll save that for our do the woo news update, which I should be doing one here soon just to catch you up on things. So closing out from the show that we did last week, WooCommerce.com has changed to woo.com essentially as mentioned in that show and in a billion other places, this is a company brand change and WooCommerce is still the open source plugin but there's people that think it's going to cause a lot of confusion that didn't stop the WordPress world from moaning and groaning about the change or dissing Woo for a mistake made on and on. Well, I stayed out of most of the conversations as I'm going to stay out of it right here to avoid fanning the fire. But hey, essentially any big brand that does a change like that, there's a reason to do it. There's good reasons to make the brand healthy. And eventually I think it's all going to work out and smooth out in the end. So we are working to get someone on from Woo to dive a bit more into that brand change, learn a little bit more about that. So that is Woo Bits for the week. Hope you've had a wonderful week and you can find all these links on the post for this episode on do the woo.io plus a few more links I've thrown in. So until the next time, take care.